A topic that's related to batteries but not exactly the same is a question like this. True or false? Under standard conditions, zinc can reduce nickel 2 plus. What makes this different from the battery is when we did a battery, a battery always had to be spontaneous. And so we forced the reaction to be the way that would give us an overall spontaneous reaction. In a problem like this, we can't do that. We have to follow the way the question is worded. So for example, here we want to reduce nickel 2 plus. So we look at our list of standard reduction potentials and you find this half reaction. Nickel 2 plus is reduced to solid nickel and the standard reduction potential is a negative 0.26 volts. If our nickel 2 plus is being reduced, the zinc has to be oxidized. So remember, when you look at the table, it's all standard reduction potentials. You have to flip them to turn them into an oxidation. So you can find zinc, after you flip it, being oxidized to zinc 2 plus, losing two electrons. The standard oxidation potential, instead of a negative 0.76 like you see in the table, because we flipped it, it's going to become a positive point. 76 volts. If you take this reduction and this oxidation, the key question is what kind of reaction do you get? And that is answered by what kind of number you get for the cell voltage. The only thing that matters for a question like this is whether the answer is going to be positive or negative. A negative 0.26 plus positive 0.76 is going to give you a positive answer. So because this is positive, that means it's spontaneous. And that means that the original question is true. Similar question in part B. I true or false? Iron 2 plus can reduce copper 2 plus. So if we're trying to reduce copper 2 plus, we can find that in the table the way it's written. Copper 2 plus plus 2 electrons makes copper. This has a standard reduction potential of positive 3, 4 volts. And there is another value in the table. Copper 2 plus can be reduced by gaining just one electron and forming copper 1 plus. The standard reduction potential for this half reaction is a positive 0.16 volts. So we have two possible reductions. When you look at iron 2 plus, iron 2 plus in this example can't be reduced because then we would have all reductions. So we have to find iron 2 plus being oxidized and we can find it turning into iron 3 plus and the standard oxidation potential is a negative 0.77 volts. So in this case there's actually two possible reactions that can occur. We could take the first reduction and pair it up with this oxidation. Positive 0.34 and negative 0.77 is going to give us a cell voltage that's negative. So this reaction is not spontaneous. We have to take into account the other possibility, which would be the other reduction with we only have one oxidation. If we p pair up positive 0.16 and negative 0.77, it's still a negative cell voltage. So both possibilities give us an answer that's non spontaneous. So this is a false statement. Iron 2 plus cannot reduce copper 2 plus. If one answer were, posi were positive cell voltage and the other answer were negative, the answer would be yes. If you have one possibility that gives you a spontaneous reaction, then the answer to the question is yes, the reaction will be spontaneous. And then for part C, True or false, H plus can oxidize magnesium. 
So the magnesium's being oxidized. We find that reversed in the table and we flip it to give us this oxidation. The standard oxidation potential is a positive 2.38 volts. The H plus has to be reduced and we can find that in the table. H plus is reduced to hydrogen gas. Standard reduction potential is zero volts. When you put this oxidation with this reduction, you get a positive cell voltage, which means it's spontaneous. So this statement is true. Notice in this last example, I had different numbers of electrons for the different half reactions. You never multiply a voltage by anything. So once you get these voltages written correctly, the only thing that matters is whether the result when you add them together is going to be positive or negative. You don't multiply a cell voltage by any constant.